slug FPV, what I like about Happy Model and HD Zero, they try to come out with quads that are reasonably priced. So we're looking at the Mobula 6 Eco, which is the replacement for the older, which I really like this quad, the older Mobula 6 with the HD Zero uh, 1S VTX, uh, which is a really nice quad. Uh, so we're going to look at this and see if it is worth the $149 us that this quad uh, costs and i think that's a very reasonable price you get a screwdriver some spare props some spare screws a prop removal tool and then you get some stickers quickly going through the specs the flight controller is the crazy b f4 dx um, it does support express lrs it's preloaded with version 3.0 the escs are flashed with blue j uh, the ESCs can support up to 12 amps continuous with peak 15 amp for three seconds, which is pretty beefy, uh, which I was pretty impressed with. Uh, it'll also actually accept uh, 2S uh, as far as the voltage input, but of course this is a 1S configuration. Um, on the top here is the HD0 Eco and is uh, an entry level HD0 1S Whoop. VTX. The motors are the SC, kind of, let me see if I can get them into focus here. They're the SC702 uh, 28,000 kV uh, motors. Motor post is a one millimeter motor post. So I like what Happy Model did. They went with the GMB A30 connector versus the PH2.0 connector. You're going to get a lot less voltage drop with this new connector. Let's go ahead and get a weight. It's coming in at 23 grams. Configuring this whoop is pretty straightforward. I did use the Express LRS configurator to put in my passphrase. I, while I was in there, I just went ahead and upgraded to the latest version of Express LRS. Uh, and then as far as uh, Betaflight configurator, I just put my rates on and left everything else uh, stock. I've had this whoop for probably uh, two months now. So I'm gonna show you an earlier flight when I uh, first got it. I just happen to have that on an SD card, so you can kind of see what the flight characteristics are like. At 29 and I find myself wondering, what did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Something from nothing. 
life changes, just open the door. But one thing's certain, I'll always be yours. Here are my thoughts on the Mobula 6 Eco 2024, and it's a mixed bag. Uh, some things are really stand out with this Whoop, and others are not so great. So starting with the highlights, it is lightweight at 23 grams for an HD Whoop class quad. Um, it is reasonably priced at $149.99 US. Uh, the flight controller I think is awesome um, with uh, 15 amp peak ESCs and it can handle up to 2S. So if you wanted to move this over to a toothpick frame with different motors, um, that would be a viable option. Um, it does have onboard flash for black box PID tuning, which I really like. Uh, the PID tune is great as configured out of the box. Uh, the setup was very easy and I only had to change my rates. Uh, of course, ELRS is always a challenge for new pilots, uh, but the Express or docs are good, you just have to read them. I'll put a link below. Uh, I do like that the ELRS receiver is independent uh, of the flight controller. So it's not an SPI ELR ERLS. What that allows you to do is go ahead and update the firmware on the ELRS receiver without having to update the uh, flight controller on the um, quad itself. So they're independent. And the problem with SPI ELRS receivers are you have to wait for a companion upgrade to the flight controller firmware to pick up any enhancements. So this is a much better solution for that. So definitely like that. Uh, the flight characteristics, it flies very fast for a whoop. And this definitely seems to be set up for whoop racing. Um, I do like that it has the new connector over the older uh, PH 2.0 connector, which has a lot of voltage sag. So this definitely does improve on the voltage sag for uh, a WHOOP class over the PH 2.0 connectors. So let's go over the cons. Um, although I just said that the weight is good, it's still five grams or 28% heavier than the analog version, uh, which does not match up well with these 0702 motors, even though they're a high KV motor. Um, Flight time is dismal at two and a half minutes if you really put it into the throttle or around three minutes if you nurse it. Um, this is really a result of the added weight in conjunction with the high KV smaller motors. Um, so I think that's a definite con because two and a half minutes of aggressive flight isn't a lot. So for me, that's uh, not a showstopper, but something that you should definitely consider in your decision on this. The range on the VTX is not that great and that's probably due to this dipole antenna that they picked to have uh, not a lot of weight. Um, however, this is probably not an, an issue for people that fly indoors unless you're flying up and down mul multiple stories. And then lastly, this uh, WHOOP isn't the best at what I call WHOOP acro. It um, bottoms out a lot. You really have to catch yourself early, um, unlike other quads with larger stators. So I think that is uh, definitely a con. If you're wanting this for doing, you know, whoop acro, it's probably not the, the whoop for you. So would I recommend this quad? The answer is no and yes. I mean, if you want to use the parts on this to build a lightweight you know, 1S or 2S toothpick or a 75 millimeter frame whoop. Um, yeah, this is might be an option because sometimes, you know, having all the components in one is actually cheaper than trying to buy them individually. Now, of course, you're going to have to pay for new motors if you go that route. 
Um, I am actually have kind of a tweener solution for this quad. Um, and I'm going to modify this Whoop build and that will actually be a topic for another video. So again, this is a mixed bag. I think uh, for some, it's uh, something that, you know, if you wanna get into HD zero um, ecosystem, it's a cheap way to get into it. Um, but, you know, if you're looking for something that, you know, has longer flight time, this definitely isn't the whoop for you. So with that, I always appreciate that you're tuning into my channel.